السلام علیکم خاتون حضرات میں ہوں اسلام احمد کسانہ میں آج بہت ہی خوشی فیل کر رہا ہوں اور بلکہ آنرڈ فیل کر رہا ہوں کہ ہمارے ساتھ ایک ایسے گیسٹ موجود ہیں جنہوں نے پاکستان کا نام بہت زبردست طریقے سے روشن کیا ہے اور آپ کو معلوم ہے کہ پاکستان کے جتنے بھی لوگ یہاں پہ آتے ہیں کینیڈا ہو یا امریکہ ہو بڑی محنت کرتے ہیں بڑے بڑے زبردست پوٹینشیل کے لوگ ہوتے ہیں اور اپنی محنت سے اپنا مقام بناتے ہیں اور ان ملکوں میں چونکہ ایک اپرچونیٹیز کا سلسلہ ہوتا ہے ان کو جیسی اپرچونیٹی ملتی ہے وہ سونے سے پھر آگے بھی نکل جاتے ہیں سونا بھی بنتے ہیں اور پھر آگے کندن بھی بن جاتے ہیں تو ان میں سے ایک شخصیت آج میرے ساتھ ہیں وہ پہلے پاکستانی کینیڈین ہیں جن کو کینیڈا کا سب سے بڑا ایوارڈ جو ہے جس کو آرڈر آف کینیڈا کہتے ہیں وہ الحمد ملا ہے اور یہ ہماری کمیونٹی کے لیے میرے لیے پرسنلی بھی بہت اچھے ہمارے دوست بھی ہیں بڑے بھائی بھی ہیں تو ہم سب کے لیے ایک بہت ہی نادر موقع ہے کہ ہم یہ سمجھیں کہ جو بھی پاکستانیز باہر رہتے ہیں ان کو اپنی زندگیوں کو کس طریقے سے گزارنا چاہیے تاکہ وہ اپنا نام بھی روشن کریں اپنے ملک کا نام بھی روشن کریں اور اپنے دین کا نام بھی روشن کریں تو ہمارے ساتھ موجود ہیں جناب مظہر مائک شیخ صاحب ان سے بات کریں السلام علیکم مظہر مائک شیخ صاحب السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام وعلیکم السلام بہت بہت شکریہ شیخ صاحب آپ کی سب سے پہلے تو آپ کو بہت بہت مبارک اور یہ ایک بہت بڑا ایوارڈ ہے جو آپ نے ماشاء اللہ اللہ تعالیٰ نے آپ کو دیا ہے اور یہ پاکستانیز کے لیے ایک بہت ہی قابل فخر موقع ہے کہ آج ایک پاکستانی جو ہے اس کو یہ سب سے ہائیسٹ جو سول ایوارڈ ہے وہ ملا ہے اور یہ نہ صرف آپ کے لیے بلکہ پوری کمیونٹی کے لیے ایوری ویئر یہ ایک بہت ہی قابل فخر موقع ہے جی تو کیا کہیں گے اس کی امپورٹنس کے حوالے سے ذرا تھوڑا سا اگر آپ چاہیں تو پلیز ہمیں بتائیے گا جی Uh, it is the highest civilian award given in Canada. Yeah. And it was started in 1967. And it is chosen by a group of uh, seven people appointed by the government of Canada, totally mm-hmm. independent. And they all have to unanimously vote to see if that person is qualifies for the Order of Canada. So I am actually indeed... very honored mm-hmm. and privileged to be chosen for this award order of canada it is Absolutely. quite it is a it is a quite an honor mm-hmm. and uh, i'm grateful i'm honestly grateful beyond words nahi yeah, isme waqai bilkul aap sahi keh rahe hain kyunki jitne bhi logon ko main mila hu unse maine jab pucha to unhone kaha ki ye بہت ہی یونیک آنر ہے جو شیخ صاحب کو ملی ہے اور اس میں ظاہر ہے کہ ہماری کمیونٹی جو ہے وہ بھی اس وقت بہت پراؤڈ فیل کر رہی ہے اور مجھے پتا ہے کہ بہت سارے لوگ جو ہیں وہ آپ کے لیے سیلیبریشنس کے لیے ارینجمنٹس بھی کر رہے ہیں اور ان بڑی جلدی ہم دیکھیں گے کہ کینیڈا میں ایک ہلا بلو کریٹ ہوگا کہ مائک شیخ صاحب کو ایک زبردست قسم کا ایک ایوارڈ ملا ہے اچھا یہ مجھے بتائیں کہ یہ ایوارڈ جو ہے آپ کو ملا ہے بیسکلی کمیونٹی سروسز کے لیے کمیونٹی والنٹیرزم کے اوپر اور فلینتھروپی کے اوپر تو آپ نے کون کون سی اس طرح کی ایکٹیویٹیز کی ہیں جن کے بارے میں کہا جائے کہ جی ریلی اس کی وجہ سے آپ کو یہ ملا جی آئی تھنک اسرار صاحب آئی ہیو مینشن ٹو یو بیفور دیٹ آئی لیو بائی اے مائی مینٹرا کالڈ لرن ارن اینڈ ریٹرن سو آئی ہیو فالو دیٹ مینٹرا آل مائی لائف When I came to Canada, uh, I was, I thought I landed in heaven because it was such an amazing country, yeah. which was yeah, prepared. Yeah, why don't you tell us when you were here? I arrived in Canada in 1973, uh, and uh, it was a, a pretty early age of it was a pretty early ages of uh, migration into Canada of non-white people. There were a lot of uh, white people who were migrating to Canada, but Pierre Elliott Trudeau was the prime minister at that time, and he opened the door for the Smileys who were leaving Uganda and uh, other African countries, right? So they opened the door for a non-white immigrant to come to Canada. So I, I came at that time. I came for my education. And so I followed my... learn, earn, and return principle all my life. Hmm. Um, you know, what I say, it is you give, always you give without expecting anything in return, right? Oh. For, the, so yeah. la- for the last 50 years, that's what I have done. I've given, given back to the community, and I will talk about giving you know, later, yeah. uh, later on. 
uh, I give it back to the community and I will continue. I promise I will continue to serve humanity with humility, with humility, devotion, and determination. Very good. Di- when uh, I die, uh, when you- I die you know, see, I said, when I die, I want, I want to know that journey through life, I have made a difference. Beautiful. बहुत अच्छी बात है और ये हमारा दीन भी हमें ये सिखाता है और ये मुझे बताएं कि जब आप यहां पे आए थे आप तो आप बता रहे हैं कि आप एज स्टूडेंट यहां पे आए और आपने आके एजुकेशन ली हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट इज इट कि ये जिस तरह हम लोग कई दफा आते हैं तो हम लोग फिर यहां के मुश्किलात को देखते हुए हम एजुकेशन को जरा पीछे बैक बर्नर पे रख देते हैं एजुकेशन नहीं लेते हैं तो कितने इंपॉर्टेंट है कि आप एजुकेशन के ऊपर फोकस रहें और उसको बेस के ऊपर फिर अपनी जिंदगी को ترتیب दें सो इसरार साहब माय मैसेज माय मैसेज टू माय कम्युनिटी is exactly that education is the pathway for a brighter future hmm. education is a pathway for a brighter future in my speeches and i often talk about that education is the most important ingredient for a successful nation or prosperous nation right so promoting education is very important if you look at the history of the jews in america when they came to america they did only one thing they educated their their people to the highest level of education lawyers doctors politicians edu- educators and they became such a big uh, part of the american society because they are educated so i cannot stress any more that how important it is for our community to continue to educate their children at the highest level at the highest level right and that's that's that is the only time we'll make sure that we as a pakistani canadians are recognized a force to be reckoned with absolutely अब मैं पर्सनली भी जानता हूं और मैं लोगों को भी ये बताना चाहता हूं कि शेख साहब जो हैं ये مختلف ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस के बोर्ड ऑफ मेंबर्स जो होता है उसको भी हेड करते हैं कईयों के मैं पर्सनली उनके साथ काम भी कर चुका हूं مختلف लोगों के साथ और खास तौर पे जो फिलंथ्रोपी का एक एस्पेक्ट है उसमें भी शेख साहब ने मुझे याद है पिछले चंद अरसा पहले कैलगरी पब्लिक लाइब्रेरी को 1 मिलियन डॉलर जो थे वो डोनेट किए थे और इसी तरह ये बाकी जगहों पे भी ये डोनेशंस वगैरह देते रहते हैं तो ये इसी वजह से ये जो रिटर्न वाला मामला है ये मुझे बताएं कि जो अब ऑर्डर ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ कनाडा जो है इसको शेख साहब आप किस तरह यूटिलाइज करेंगे अपनी एक्टिविटीज को مزید एनहांस करने के लिए और कम्युनिटी की خدمت का दीजिए और ये मैं बाय द वे ये ऑर्डर ऑफ कनाडा भी दिखा भी देता हूं ये 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 ऑर्डर ऑफ कनाडा है थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू um i firmly believe that if you serve the humanity when you're serving the humanity without expecting anything in return then when you get this this kind of award as order of canada then it is a icing on the cake really hmm. i love doing what i do right and a recognition like this is very much appreciated right and uh, you know i've done a lot of work for my homeland country pakistan i spent uh, 17 years uh, taking delegations from canada to united to pakistan and and um, uh, hosting pakistani delegations in canada in calgary for many of them for 17 years i've done that without expecting anything in return i mm-hmm. have never asked for anything never ask for recognition i don't need to i just wanted to help my country my homeland my motherland bilkul theek hai pakistan ka jab aapne zikr kiya hai to pakistan ke hawale se ek to ye hai ki jab aap taqreeban 73 se aap dekhe na kitna arsa ho gaya 50 saal se zyada ho rahe hain to usme aapko ye mehsoos hota hai ki aapne wo jo connection tha wo thoda sa kamzor pada hai kyunki abhi dekhe ab aapko usra zuban hamari jo hai wo aapki wo nahi rahi आपकी जुबान जो है वो अब इंग्लिश हो गई है फर्स्ट लैंग्वेज आपकी इंग्लिश हो गई अब नाउ यू थिंक इन इंग्लिश ठीक है ना जी तो तो ये ये एक समझिए कि एक एक लॉस है जो शायद काफी बड़ा लॉस वेल यू नो आई आई 
when I lived in Pakistan and I left when I was only 20 years old, at that time I had learned my language, my mother tongue and Urdu and all that as a conversational language, right? Mm -hmm. But I never learned, I never really learned Urdu as a business language. Mm -hmm. And that's what my problem is. Every time you and I speak, if I have to talk and convince and uh, and make an argument about business or or politics or social uh, ventures, I have to revert into English because I never learned any other way. Okay, this is a little bit of a professional. What profession is your profession? I don't know, but I'll tell you about it. And I'll tell you that in this profession, you have so much done that God has given you so much that you are in this position that you can pay back and return what your mantra is. And then you will give a message to people that they will also come and come and establish their lives and establish their lives so that they will be able to return to their lives. So I will talk about two things. One is my profession, and then I'll talk about volunteerism, right? So let's talk about my, uh, I'm a chartered accountant, and I came to Canada with Bachelor of Commerce degree from University of Karachi. Mm -hmm. And I came here, I did my CA, and I believe that education was the best education I could have ever had. Not only that I can help others, but also I can help myself. I can help my family. I can help to generate uh, income, which will give me a pathway towards my return. Okay, mm -hmm. so that has been very useful. I, when I came in after my CA, I started investing into smaller ventures, even though I couldn't afford it at that time. But I would force myself to investing. Some of them will make money, some of them will go bust, doesn't matter, right? As long as you're ahead of the game. And that's what I did. And I suggest strongly, I suggest strongly to my Pakistani community that, um, that business is the best way to make headway. Mm -hmm. You know, when you work for someone, the salary is your limit, that's your limit. However, when you work for yourself, sky is the limit, right? You can make as much money you want to make, work as hard as you want to, and get ahead. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people don't do that, and therefore they end up with a mediocre lifestyle, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I strongly recommend that, that uh, look for doing the business go into the business yourself, right? There is nothing better business than your own business. Hmm. Second point I want to raise is Rar Saab, that is volunteerism, okay? Sure. I, you may have heard me speak before, and I'm going to say that now as a message to my community, please volunteer. Please hmm. volunteer as much as you can. Actually, volunteer more than you can. And I suggest that you just don't volunteer in your community, in your religious sector. Don't, don't isolate yourself. Hmm. Don't put yourself in a silo, right? Show silo. that we are part of this beautiful country without any bias. And we are here to help. I would love to see, and this is what happened to me when I was getting on many boards and helping mm -hmm. volunteerism, they'll say, oh, you are not just helping your own people, you're here mm -hmm. to help the community at large. And that is, my that is my message. Please mm -hmm. take on two or three volunteer positions, go out help, go out help others. It doesn't have to be Pakistanis or Muslims, right? Mm -hmm. It, In fact, you should go out and show your face and color of your skin. They're saying, listen, I am here, part of this community. Hmm. I'm here to help. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a very positive message. In this case, I would like to tell you that the youth of our 
स्पेशली हमारी जो लेडीज हैं उनके लिए क्या मैसेज है क्योंकि हम देखते हैं कि हमारी जो लेडीज जब यहाँ पे आती हैं उनकी फॉर एग्जांपल किसी की शादी हो गई वो यहाँ पे आ गई तो वो फिर आके यहाँ पे उस तरह मेन स्ट्रीमिंग नहीं करती हैं वो ज्यादातर हाउस वाइफ बन जाती हैं तो उनको लिए उनके लिए भी और खासतौर पर जो बचियां हैं हमारी उनके लिए आपका क्या मैसेज होगा जी यू नो वट दिंग आई सजेस्ट वेन यू कम टू कैनडा एजुकेशन does not does not matter whether you're you're a husband wife or child or a mother or whatever it does not matter who you are go and educate yourself and get a higher education and higher understanding of the western world right that will help you to succeed instead of being just a housewife if you hmm. if you upgrade your education let's say even up becoming a nurse or i'm just picking up a, a profession right huh, huh. now you're not only relying on your husband's income but you're also capable of making income or creating wealth or supplementing income for your family ji very true very true kyunki ye jo cheez hai isme इसी तरह ही जिस तरह आपने कहा कि अगर आप सप्लीमेंट करेंगे तो फिर आपके वो स्टेटस अचीव कर सकेंगे जहां पे आप फिर रिटर्न भी कर सकेंगे तो शेख साहब ये मुझे बताएं कि इस वक्त जो सूरत हाल है इसमें आप क्या ऑर्डर ऑफ कनाडा के बाद अब आपका नेक्स्ट टारगेट क्या है और क्या आप पॉलिटिक्स वगैरह में प्रैक्टिकली उस तरह अब आ सकते हैं या अभी आपका दिल नहीं कर रहा वेल आई थिंक यू नो दैट आई रैन एंड आई एम द इलेक्टेड सेनेटर फॉर कैनेडा I just turned 75 and my life is just beginning. My life is just beginning. I <laughs> I hope to God inshallah taala that I will have the energy to give back more to the community. What I have just started, I just started a new venture and I am the chair of the World Literacy Foundation. And I have launched I have launched last September in New York at the UN the World Lit- Literacy Task Force. Mm-hmm. Last last April I started the uh World Literacy Summit in Oxford England and my goal my goal is to provide literacy to children from let's say age 5 onward. to 5 million kids in 50 different cities in the world around the globe that's our goal so sure. i hope to god one day i can say to you that we done it inshallah inshallah aur unme koi pakistan ka bhi koi project hai ji pakistan mein bhi aap yes so what we lekin return return ka jo return wala hai mamla wo pakistan mein bhi apply hota hai na ji yeah that's right so what we have done <clears throat> when we were when we were in new york uh, at the un we wanted to create credibility of our organization so we said instead of just mike shake going out and selecting a city right we ought to have parameters organized selected by independent party so that we can put those parameters to use independently and without any bias so what we have done we have hired uh, ernst and young which is we call it eny to create a a formula that how do we go about selecting which cities require this literacy work right and i am certain i can guarantee you that pakistan one or two cities will be there for sure right uh, we are looking for teachers who could actually hmm. provide this literacy in small villages right gowns uh, small remote areas right and we want to make sure we provide enough resources that that we can achieve this literacy if you can teach the child just to read right oh. that is a big step forward can you imagine that a person going to a restaurant and not been able to read the menu or person going going over into a 
are going to shop and not able to read what's written on the board, right? Yeah. So if we can teach that, that opens the door for other things for that child to do. And our goal is to make their life better. That's it. Inshallah. انشاءاللہ یہ یہ بہت بڑا گول ہے اور اللہ کرے کہ اس میں پاکستان کے دو آپ نے کہا میں دو تین اور بھی سیریز کا بھی نام جانتا ہوں جو جو کہ ڈیزرو کریں گے اس حوالے سے آئی وش کہ آپ ان کو بھی شامل کریں اور پاکستان میں بھی جتنا ہو سکتا ہے وہ کریں کیونکہ جو ریٹرن ایل ای آر جو آپ کا ہے لرن ارن اینڈ ریٹرن اس میں جو آر کا جو کانسیپٹ ہے وہ بہت ہی امپورٹنٹ ہے اس میں اللہ کرے کہ پاکستان میں بھی وہ اس طرح کی چیزیں ہو سکیں پاکستان از ریلنگ ایکچولی رائٹ ناؤ ریلنگ ان لٹریسی رائٹ ناؤ تو یہ جو اس میں آخر میں سر مجھے بتائیں کہ یہ آرڈر آف کینیڈا جو ہے اب اس کے بعد اب ایک تو یہ کہ آپ نے یو ہیو اوپن دا ڈورس فار ادر پاکستانیز از ویل آپ نے ماشاء اللہ آپ وہ پہلے پاکستانی ہیں جنہوں نے پہلا دروازہ کھول دیا ہے اب ان آپ کے بعد نئی داستانیں رقم ہوں گی نئے لوگ آئیں گے اور ان شاء اللہ آرڈر آف کینیڈا مختلف لوگوں کو ملے گا لیکن جو پہلا شخص ہوتا ہے جس نے پہلی دفعہ ایوریسٹ سر کیا تھا سبمٹ کیا تھا اس کا نام تو اپنی جگہ پہ ہے نا جی آج بھی اس طرح آپ کو بھی لوگ یاد رکھیں گے آخر میں صرف یہ بتائیں کہ کمیونٹی ہماری جو ہے پاکستانی کمیونٹی اس سے آپ ایک دفعہ پھر کیا چاہیں گے کہ وہ کس طریقے سے اپنے آپ کو اس لیول پہ لے کے آئے کہ جہاں پہ وہ اس اس کنٹری کے لیے بھی اور اوور آل بھی ایک کنٹریبیوشن جو ہے وہ اچھے طریقے سے دے سکیں جی You know what my message is, honestly, my message is change the world. Trust me, it can be done. Just have that vision. Go out, change the world, right? It needs our help, right? I was the first Pakistani elected as a senator. Hmm. I'm the first Pakistani to get the Order of Canada, right? So. You know, uh, opportunities are unlimited. Hmm. Go try. And I honestly firmly believe that our community, particularly Pakistani Canadian community, get involved in politics, run for a political hmm. office, because we need to make sure we are seen to be contributors to this society. We have to be seen as a contributors, not just taker, but givers. یہ آپ نے بہت زبردست بات کی ہے کیونکہ میں چاہتا تھا اس پہ بات کریں لیکن کوئی ٹائم کم تھا میں چاہ رہا تھا کہ تھوڑا سا آپ ذرا ہمیں بتا دیں کہ پالیٹکس میں پھر انوالو ہونے کے لیے ہماری اسپیشلی جو یوتھ ہے وہ اس کو کیا کرنا چاہیے کیونکہ میں دیکھتا ہوں کہ ہمارے پیرنٹس جو ہیں وہ لوگوں کو اپنے بچوں کو یہ بتاتے ہیں کہ بھائی ڈاکٹر بن جاؤ انجینئر بن جاؤ کچھ اور کر لو لیکن پالیٹکس میں نہیں تو یہ 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 جو مائنڈ سیٹ ہے اس کو کیسے چینج کیا جا سکتا ہے So I think the best way to do that, Israel Saab, is to our elders, right? The grandparents or the parents. We need to tell them it is important uh, profession, important task our community has to take. And all due respect, uh, politics is not a bad profession, right? If you want to get in there, right? You may not make a lot of money, but it is a pretty high profile, high profile Uh, position to be in. At right? least you are contributing something for the society. Thank you. Giving back to the society, mm-hmm. right? Giving back your knowledge base and working hard, whether with getting a dirt under your nails or not, you are working hard, right? So I strongly believe that our youth should, and if anybody wants to run for a poli- political office, have them call, call me, contact me. I will support mm-hmm. them. I'll support female or male, I will love them to run for an office and I'll give them all the mentorship they need to get there. Wonderful. Yeah, you have done a great job. Thank you very much, Sheikh Sahib. And I know that you have mentored many people and how many people have contributed to the society and they remember you and this society is also a part of it. The order of Canada has got you. This is also a recognition of the order of Canada. This is also a recognition of the order of Canada. اس کمیونٹی کے لیے دی ہیں اس کنٹری کے لیے دی ہیں ہم سب لوگ اس کو یاد رکھیں گے کینیڈا بھی یاد رکھے گا آپ کا بہت بہت شکریہ اینڈ وی آر ریئلی پراؤڈ آف یو تھینک یو ویری مچ اینڈ سی یو سون جی تھینک یو سر شکریہ